here we have Mr. Bullet, and this time we have, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, it doesn't really show up, the laser pointer, Mr. Bullet, Mr. Bullet, there we go, <laughs> oh, he's too fast, I, I don't want to accidentally hit him in the eyes, yeah, it's a good kitty. She knows, she knows what I'm doing. The funny thing is they both know that it's a device I'm holding that generates it. They get, they, they get excited just for me holding the laser pointer. Like, oh, he's got the laser pointer. He's going to make a fake dot appear, which I know is just an artifact of the device he's holding. But I'm going to chase it anyway. Elsie. She's, she doesn't get too excited over it, though. You'd expect the younger cat to be more excited over, you know, she's just mildly curious about it. How does this device work? Why is it, what is the nature of this dot? <laughs> He'll actually chase after it. One of his few joys in life, I guess. But I gotta be careful because I don't want to overtax him because of his heart murmur, which is apparently more minor than it was. The veterinarian said that it it doesn't ever get any better, but his did. It's quieter than it was. So he's kinda like he's aging in reverse. Anyway, I was saying it's but Elsie just watching him. <laughs> She's just like, oh, quite a show you're putting on for me. I think that's it. Oh, no. He just doesn't want to chase after it on the wall. Oh, of course, he doesn't want to fall off the edge of the, the bed. He's, he's sensible about it. He's not, like, irrationally chasing after it. He doesn't want to fall into the crevice between the, the bed and the, the wall. I mean, it's not that big of a crevice. I don't know if he'd actually fit down there, but... Right there. Mr. Kitty. Kitty, Kitty, you're just too fast and un unexpected in your motions. I don't want to zap you in the eyes. <laughs> Her just passively watching all this is kind of as funny. It's him actually doing it. I think he's... He's had enough. Have it disappear around the, the back of the pillow. They never fall for that, though. No. 
I think the reason he's looking because is just because that's where he's expecting me to make it appear. Huh? Is he gonna actually look for it? He knows that I can make it reappear anywhere. Yeah, he's looking back at the device. There we go. <laughs> I see, so it's just that he lost sight of it. Alright. Now I think he's really done. Alright. He's looking for it, though, but he doesn't chase after it so vigorously when he, when it's there. I'm sorry, Bullet. I don't want to overtax your heart. Hello, Elsie. Hello, silly. Hello, Mr. Bullet. That's a good cat. And she was cutie puppy. It's a good little kitty kitty. Alright. I guess that's about it. That is, um, it. Oh, Elsie wants me to give her attention. You're so silly. Ultimately biting me and licking me. Well, I thought I'd catch Mr. Bullet with the laser pointer. It's kind of funny that the the much older cat is the one who chases after the laser dot. Since he's now 13 as of this month, and she is unknown since she was a former stray, but two years ago they guessed that she was four, which meant that she could really be anything from two to seven, I, I think, probably maybe two to six, which means that she's four to nine now? Could she be nine years old? I don't, hard, kind of hard to believe. Now she's licking me. Now she's playing roughly. Now she's licking me. You silly, you silly kitty. Ah! Don't you rake those claws against me. My reaction time is faster than you. You can't catch me. Gotcha. Gotcha, Kenny. You pretty. That's a good kitty. You can you can bite me if it's like that. I'm not gonna tolerate that nonsense. That's a good cat cat. And that was bullet jumping off the bed. Yeah, he's just off to his food. You probably couldn't hear that over the sound of the fan. The audio of the stupid iPhone. The auntie phone. Since I inherited it from my dead aunt. No, no, too hazardous to, to pet you right now. Yes. Weird about the ridges and the roof of a cat's mouth. Why is that? Humans don't have that. 
How you cats have ridges at the roofs of their mouths. Okay, maybe it's not so hazardous to pet you. If you're gonna be a nice little kitty sometimes. You're a super little kitty. No, you're not a good kitty. You're a nice kitty. Whereas he is a good kitty. And not always a nice kitty. Well, in recent times, he's, been, he's always been a nice kitty. The distinction is that a good kitty follows perceived rules, whereas a nice kitty actually tries to be nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you catch me. Nope. 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 <laughs> Alright, that's enough, Elsie. Got you now. Got you. Nope. Alright, that's enough.